Continuing the accessibility theme, you can also dictate your email so you don't have to type it. I found that it's best to address it first. So you'll see I've addressed this one to virtual Veronica. She's the froggy virtual assistant that helps me out when I'm training. And I'm gonna go into the subject line. Now to dictate, I can use the keyboard. It would be Alt H D, Alt to switch on the keyboard shortcuts, H for the home ribbon, D for dictate. But for now, I'm just gonna click on the dictate button, which lives right in the middle of the home ribbon. And this is powered by Microsoft Voice, and you'll see that a little dictation area opens up at the bottom of the screen. It's now listening. So it will actually type everything I say. So I'm just gonna stop it. And I'm going to get rid of that because what I really want to do is dictate the title of this email. So here we've got tap the microphone to resume and we've got some settings. So just take a peek at the settings first. So the settings allow for automatic punctuation, a profanity filter, and which language are you speaking? And I speak English United Kingdom. So it should know the differences between English spelling and American spelling if I said United States. And there's lots of other languages here. Once I'm ready, I'm just gonna click this button. Did you know you can dictate your email? Dear Veronica, this is a lovely addition to the tools of accessibility in Outlook. Paragraph. New paragraph. See you soon. New paragraph. Shelley. And I'm going to stop there. Now you'll see that it doesn't know how I type my name, so I'm just going to add my E in there. Uh, and here, instead of saying new paragraph, I said the word paragraph, which is what it typed. And so there we have it, that's dictation in Outlook. When I'm finished, I can simply close it. Also notice you've got a question mark here. When you click the question mark, it opens up a task pane on the right hand side. It's now listening and typing everything I say and you've got some ideas of what you can do. What can I say? So it tells you what it knows for punctuation. Really handy tool, especially if you hate typing.